Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a Saving a Disaster campaign playing Total War Three Kingdoms, and this one's in desperate need of fixing. Now, it might look like that this, because this is all the territory they own, that this is not worthy of a, a save. But here's the thing, if this, so if this isn't fixed immediately, all of these commanderies are going to revolt, and this campaign will be over. It is in dire need of fixing, but it just won't take very long. It's also at war with way too many people, given the amount of... Just, just, there are huge problems. This campaign is getting run into the ground. They did well to get to here, but now it's about to collapse. So, playing as, as Zheng Jian, uh, or as I, I like to call her, Jenny, this is easier. Uh, let's fix this problem. So, looking at our empire, it would be good if we can clean it up a little bit first. So, there's a bunch of territory out here that we don't own. Let's see if we're capable of taking that this turn because we need to fix the we need to fix the money and the food problem this turn. I am not hitting this end turn button until that is green and this minus button uh, minus symbol goes away. Now we've got Zhang Chao over here, and I already checked in diplomacy to see if he'll negotiate. It's not worth it, especially considering we could probably get rid of him. We've also got this guy here that's able to get to here. Let's do it. There's got way too many armies. So let's have a look at this. Close victory. Fine. Just delegate it. It's fine. Because we're, they're not going to be fighting again for a while. In fact, I'm probably just going to disband them. So fighting it manually or auto resolve will have the same outcome. This shows much potential. Okay. And then we'll take this. Now that's an iron mine, so fighting that battle manually is just difficult without artillery. But if we bring in two armies, auto resolves fine. Again, it'll have the same net outcome as if I fought it manually, because these two here, they're not going to... Actually, the auto resolve there was absolutely fine. Some armies need to be disbanded. Okay, we can also increase our taxes. That fixes the food problem. It'll be interesting to see how bad that makes the public order thing. Because here's the thing, if we don't fix the food problems, all the reserves are going to go away. Which they are. And that has a minus 25 public order effect, so we, we needed to increase the taxes. Now, what else is going on over here? Way too many bloody armies. Yellow Turban Rebellion. What is going on here? So you got uh, Sima Yi. There's Jenny there. Just, just all rebellions. Over here. Who's that? What faction does he belong to? Why must we speak? Quang Okay, if we defeat that army in battle. They might ask for less from a peace treaty. Uh, you've got an army here. We can take that jade mine. Who does that belong to? That belongs to no Sun Che. See, I'm, I'm learning how to pronounce these names a little bit because I've actually been watching the uh, the Three Kingdoms TV show. I'm still nowhere near, <laughs> nowhere near competent. But, and I don't care either. But. Alright. Should be able to still reach it. Good. Order resolve will be fine. Let feasting commence. Free the prisoners. Lead strongly. Okay. So yeah, like I said, we could take this jade mine here. Because it'd be good if we could peace out with them. But let me just check. I have no time for fools. Alright, he wants two cities, but... Which is fine, I'm willing to give that up. But let's take this first, because that way he'll suffer a recent defeat. Um, what's the map view on this? Um... Probably best order resolving that one. Could have won it manually, but we would have taken about the same casualties, and this would save us about however long. It's fine. So, do that. Alright. Let's see here. 
God, yeah, you've already got bloody rebellions everywhere. Impossible. What channel? Uh, what, um... I had a look at them, and apparently we can request tribute, and they'll totally just accept that. This will get us out of the war. Can't ask for anything else with it, but just do that. And that helps a little bit. That fixes that a little bit. So what's this here? Ma ah, besieging the settlement. Let me see if I get a sally out. Mm, I probably won't win that situation. No, I don't think I will. Oh yeah, so this is on very hard difficulty. Oh, should we just check? So, game settings is on very hard, yep. You weren't going to reach him anyway, and getting tribute is probably better at this stage. Um, let's see if we can peace out with Ma'a. Make it quick. What does he want? Wants a lot of money. I obviously can't give him that. No, I'm not. I'm not willing to do that. All right. So looking at quick deals, let's see what else we can do. So, Duchy of Wei, we took that territory down there that belonged to her, and now she's... Hang on, do we have any ter any armies that are ready to take any more regions out this way? Like, it has to be this turn. Nothing else will reach this turn. Let us get this over with. So... She wants a region. Um, what could we give her instead? We could probably give her some ancillaries. Let's have a look. You got loads and loads of, like, wooden fish. It's fine. Just give that garbage away. These are really good to trade away. And she's very poor on food. We've got plenty. Okay, hang on. We'll, we'll do, be able to do this just with food. Maybe just throw in a tiny, tiny little payment. There we go. 131's fine. And that, that gets us out of this war. So it is agreed. And we can, you can just go back and kill her later. You didn't give up anything too crucial. Alright, so that's one war out of the way. See, already things are starting to look a lot tidier. Um, Kingdom of Wu. Be grateful. I allow you an so he wants two territories. We've just taken a jade mine off him. He wants the, the um, Lumberyard... La the lumber yard and the regional city which is fine if we give them the regional city that'll probably give us more food which we can use for other deals but let's just hold off on the... no we, we need the food don't we all right fine give him the territory now because they're just beyond his border um i don't even know which ones they were it doesn't matter okay barely impacted our income and it increased our food okay uh this guy down here or maybe it was his territory we took, I don't know. What does he want? Wants a, wants a re large regional city. Okay. Fine, just give it to him. It'll fix up more food. So it is agreed. It's fine. So I think we just gave him that one. It's fine. Okay. What's that? Next. This one here. What poisonous okay, he just wants a big... Or she just wants a big food payout. 39, which we now have enough food to justify. But they've got settlements here and there that we should... We should take. Hang on, let, let's let's still just have a look. So that's we can't peace out with Kingdom of Shuhan, but he doesn't border us, so that's fine. And the negotiations here quick are not acceptable. See, I wanted to get that territory, but you could just get it in the next war. Just prepare an army there for next time. So I'll accept this. Give him the 39, her the 39 food that she needs. Because we can afford it. Just give it up. Your terms are acceptable. Okay. And now you've only got two wars. Ma'a and Kingdom of Shuhan. Now we, so that means all of this border along here, there are no wars going on. Okay. There's... Yellow Turban Rebellions everywhere. That's what we'll have our armies designate to go and do. But a lot of these armies are going to be disbanded. Because we got like, I counted 15 armies. Bloody ridiculous. 
I mean, when I played this game and get to around this size, I usually have like five armies. <laughs> but I'm stingy, so. Different playstyles. Okay, so we can negotiate a trade deal with the Han. Cool. Trade with anyone, it doesn't matter. Just get, get that income up. Like I said, I'm not ending this turn until this is green. Your treacherous tongue is broken. Cool, that's two trade agreements. Let's see if we can get a third. Okay, we should be able to make this Let work. Us discuss matters. Well, here's the problem with this, is that we're give, already giving them 39 food, and we can see here that they still have minus 7 food. Um, and we can't, we can't like, add on top of that. So I could give an ancillary away. Like, you've got, again, you've got loads of them. Just two of these wooden fish. We'll sort that out, and that'll... That'll give us 1,200. I mean, they'll probably declare war on you again sometime in the future, but... One thing as well is that you'll probably be able to buy these territories for food once once this is expired, because she desperately needs it. So this will just get us money in the meantime. Terms are acceptable. And now we're, we've halved the problem. In fact, we can end the turn now with... with we'll still have some money next turn. Okay, uh, another trade agreement. Let's have a look over here. Your treacherous tongue is... They want a region for that. I'm not... I don't really trade regions for trade agreements, especially because the trade agreement probably won't last. No okay, so this guy wants 33 food for a... for the trade agreement. It's a lot to ask. But we certainly don't want to go to war with him, and this will ensure... This is as good as a non-aggression pact, really. It is agreed. So, low on food now, but it's okay, I'll sort it out. Choose your words Forget wisely. it. Okay. Alright, now we need to designate armies. We're, it looks like we're going to take attrition. Unless we get this into the green, I believe they're going to take attrition over the end turn. Someone has to come over here and save this city. You are going to be needed over here to save... There's a rebellion here, though. We might not be able to make it there in time. But we, we should be able to get to those horse pastures in time. Oh, hang on. There's this guy here. He could be redirected. No, he's going to be disbanded. This whole army's going. So just recall the entire army. That saves quite a lot of cash. Strike hard. They have paid for ignoring us. They'll only slow us down. No. Meditate on peace. Prepare for war. Alright, this army here is in pretty bad shape. We should take it out. Justice and then I think we'll disband this force. Return them to their kin. Our victory is proof of heaven's approval. Okay, you'll be designated to that. So this guy here, it's time for him to go. You can always just hire them the whole retinue again. My lord. And it'll only I mean, it'll cost money to bring them back, but you just, you'd have way too many armies. So we're, we're almost in the green now. Prepare my chambers. Okay, this one here is beaten Your to shit. Is so welcome, my lord. just send them back home. Wish to know. And there we go. With that, now they're actually starting to replenish again. So now we can end the turn and actually get some money. Okay. Bring news of what occurred in my absence. So like I said, I was not going to end the turn until those two problems are solved. Now the next thing is public order. Because it doesn't look good. But it might just be because of lack of reserves. So we're going to have to do some tidying up. 
And how many settlements did we give away? We gave away, what, three? But we also captured three. So wait, I think we've got net about the same. Um, okay, so... Conserve spirit. I need you to come back over here to deal with this. Is there anyone else closer by? Because we don't really want to be trespassing on these people's territory anymore, but I need you to get back. You're not going to replenish in enemy territory anyway. Or just not friendly territory. Get over there, deal with that. Like I said, each of these armies need to be designated a role now. If they don't have a role, then they need to go away. You can hire them again another time. Armies are a little bit messy, but you know, they're not, not horrible. Main thing that I'm seeing as being its problem is just not having um, any artillery in them. Marching. Don't have to get rid of every single army, but get get rid of the dead weight, because there's a lot of construction that we need to do. Alright, there's one of those armies. I'll need you to chase after him, although I don't think that army there is going to be that much of a threat. Alright, I need you to... F Hang on. They're replenishing pretty slowly. You haven't researched the um, extra replenishment thing. Look, the yellow turbans aren't that big of a deal. If you deal with them early, so just rush over there and deal with it. Alright, now if I was to lower taxes again now, I'm pretty sure we'd end up with food problems, yeah, so we can't do that. We just have to s keep it at that, at least for a little bit. And let's see what we can do to fix the food problems. Oh, you just didn't research any of the food stuff. Get rid of this. And build... What does this do? Plus 10% replenishment faction-wide. Holy shit. That's really good. So what if it reduces your income? Uh, I'm not going to get that right now because we don't desperately need that. Then this tribute hall, what does this do? Right. Damn. Um, okay, so go with, just go with the government support for now, and so that, that gives us a little bit of food. Now, these two armies, like, there's this, this here, uh, I'm going to disband both of them. Don't worry about leveling them up, you can deal with that yourself later, because I, I don't want to spend too long on this one, because I think it's pretty much fixed. Um. So there's no loyalty issue by the look of it. God damn, so many bloody characters. If we have a look here, what's the character salary? 7.1 thousand. God damn it. Um, this, this army over here as well, I think we'll, because I, I reckon we'd be able to buy that settlement rather than, than conquer it. And even if, uh, oops, even if you do go and conquer it, it's not going to be for a while and just, just raise a new army to go deal with it or have one of the existing armies go back. Like you just went way overboard with it. And even though we got the money fixed up, I'd like to lower the taxes again. So we need we need to get our food up so that we can I lower the taxes welcome, back. My lord. And you really need to research those food techs. So if you have a look at this, making 362 from farming, right? There's technologies in there that increase our food by 25%. There's a... That would have really helped you out in the long term. That's one I like to get fairly early on. You don't really need these grain silos, except for it's for, like, for public order, but... Um, you might be better off if you want public order to go with the Confucius tri uh, Shrine. 
Uh, doesn't provide any income, so we'll just demolish that. I won't fast track it though. So the big problem here is due to reserves. Okay. We gotta fix the food problem so I can drop the taxes back down. Alright, let's cycle through the armies that exist still. And let's see how, how needed they are. We'll keep that one there, that's fine. Yep, we need you. We'll keep you. I'm not super fan of that army, but that's fine. You're needed to take that out. Yeah, you stay there. Attention. Yep, we need you. Yep, need you. Uh-huh, need you. And we need you. But some of these guys won't be needed beyond next turn. Alright, cool. So, we've still got a fair bit of money. Let's see what else we can build. Let's have a look at these provinces. Definitely don't want to be upgrading settlements at this point. It'll cost us more food. Well, see, that's totally pointless because there's no... F oh, actually, no, there is food coming from here. Uh, so when that gets upgraded... Uh, the faction support stuff will go away. So that'll go away next turn. So it'll be fine here. Yeah, reducing corruption. That's good. What's this one? Providing reserve capacity. Probably need that for now. But I'd prefer it if we go up this chain here. Because this provides way more public order. Like that provides 10. Whereas this can go up to what? 16? Yeah, 16. I mean, it does require upkeep. Where this one doesn't. keep that for now. Alright, I'm just going to leave it as is and we'll move on to the next turn and then continue to tidy up from there. So this point here is definitely not a disaster campaign. That's all that was required to fix it up. So it, was, it was a self-inflicted problem. Is that your spy by any chance? Huh, you got spies. I never use spies. <laughs> it's just not really my way. I I'm not going to touch on it because I, I am definitely not a spy expert. So I'll just let you sort that out because I don't think I'm going to be playing too many turns on this. Okay, we'll, we'll sort something out for that. Alright, now, like I said, you got, you, you want to fix this stuff up, we need public order, and we need food. And you can fix up the public order by lowering taxes, so for that we need food. 25 food production is just going to fix all of our food problems for the ages. In fact, if I had to guess, I'd say that's what you did last year. 68 food, and now, there we go. And if you have a look here, you've got minus 80 from diplomacy. That's what I did. I sold off that much food. So once that's once that's been nine more turns is gone, you'll get that 80 food back. And on normal taxes, we're making seven grand a turn. Um, let's have a look at some assignments. Because now that we bring all these characters back, there's a lot that we could do. So let's firstly look at... Which region produces the most food? Chen. It's to be expected. Uh, let's put an assignment in here with this guy. Food from farming or just food production total. Farming, farming, farming. So it would be better to go with... with the, just double the amount of food that we get from here. Cool. So that'll come into play next turn, and then you Remain take him out. Each victory brings stability to the realm. Don't underestimate the value of peace in this game. 
I am not without mercy. It clearly wasn't a this is total war campaign. So there's no need to In the name of China! Yeah. There's nothing wrong with swallowing your pride and being like, oh I'll just accept a a mild war reparation. Because the the consequence is a major war reparation. I will show mercy this time. Bide your time, build up your strength again. And then you can go do all the wall you like with a full coffer and loads of food to feed your people. And that way you don't have to worry about fucking yellow turban rebellions. So why is he taking attrition? What's his fucking problem? Low supplies. Right. Those who do not bend to authority will break authority. Since they're taking attrition, we'll gain some supplies there. Finish this off. All plans are coming to pass. To action. I mean, the supply issue will certainly be fixed. As of next turn, you can see it's going up by a bit, but yeah, they, they completely ran out of um, supplies. Because they'll be needed to take this out here. Good, that army's at full strength. We can see this dude's coming in here to the Silk Trader. So I could go back there to, to stop him. Who, who does he belong to? Zhang. What faction does he belong to? Zhang Fu. When did that happen? They, mu they must have just declared war on us. Hell no. That's a big no on that one. Okay. You're going to have to come back over here. That means we don't really have anyone to deal with this. I could send him back, because we can catch this guy Not this turn. No mercy. But Jenny might be able to catch up to her eventually. Okay, I don't see any need for this army anymore. Again, you can always hire him back Welcome, my when you want to go back to war with everyone again. But for the time being, let me build up your economy. And that which isn't needed can be cut away. At ease. Upon them. So, from 15 armies, you've now got 8. I've, I've literally cut away half your armies. What's his problem? Low military supplies. Well, it's coming back now that, now that the, the food issue... Like I said, that had to be sorted. That'll be sorted as well. I don't want to disband all of our armies, so I'll leave, leave some of them there, because we can afford them. Alright, now let's look in diplomacy for this turn, see what we can do. We've got 29 food to play with. Let's see what we can do. No, too much, just forget it. Um, nope. nope, they're going to need to have their armies crushed. And this guy here, he's not willing to negotiate. I am not in the mood. All right, well, it's only three wars. It's not that big of a deal. Now, what else are we going to do? We need to fix or improve your economy. So, more food needed. Okay, here. So, it's good that you built these anti-corruption buildings, but what else do we need? You should build these in your like your lowest income areas, which could actually end up being your farmlands. But this is actually making a thousand per turn, which is pretty good. 
But that's that's not bad at all. You know, being able to faction wide increase your replenishment by ten percent. It really shouldn't be a like need you don't need too many of these. Right now you need money more so than anything, so maybe building an inn would be best. Because that's the next thing that would provide a decent amount of money. Right, let's have a look at all the purple issues. So this one here, we've got... Rebellion mustering. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Oh man, look what a mess. Okay. So reserves are increasing here, so... You don't, you don't need this. Public order should be fine after we've dealt with this. You've got plus 16 public order from that. That Again, that should be fine. Um, wait, what did I just get rid of here? Yeah, get rid of that. Don't think you need it. And then upgrade... Upgrade this, because increasing income from peasantry as well. You make a fair bit from that. Um, that's all looking... What, what's the corruption here? 61%. Wow, you're making a 1,000 with that much corruption. I'm not seeing the anti-corruption building, so put that in there. So many provinces. You should convert that to this. You'll end up making more money because the corruption here, it's at 0%, but it's about spreading the corruption to other provinces. Because it's only, where is it? It's only 200 less income. And let's have a look at some more assignments. Okay, so I get another food one. What about commerce? This will really help us with money. So let's have a look at which regions provide the most commerce. I don't want to spend too long on this because there's such a, such a lot going on. Okay, this one, no money from commerce, but loads from industry. Absolutely loads from industry. Okay, is there anyone here that can improve income from industry? Alright, what are the reserves increasing by? It's increasing by 12 a turn. So if we put... If we put this guy in there, it'll be okay. I mean, it's only 15% from industry. Mostly from commerce, and there's no commerce there. See, I don't know at a glance just yet which ones provide my money from industry. Um, there doesn't seem to be much for that. So let's just look for the, the commerce ones. Because you get 75% bonus. Doesn't seem like you've really gone too heavy on the commerce at all. In any of these settlements. So this one here has got a fair bit. So I'll put... Put that in there. It's not going to increase our income by a lot, but it's something. Otherwise these assignments are just doing nothing. you got all these characters now that aren't doing anything. Maybe... Let me just see here. How much? Let's find one that's got a lot of income from peasants. Alright, 160 is not bad. Let's see, which one increases it from peasants? Okay. Cool. Alright. Uh, looking alright. Loads of cash coming in. Since we do have wars coming in over this way, maybe it'd be a good idea to send Sima Yi up that way as well. I think that'll do for the turn. Let me just see if I can get any trade agreements. This will nope. be short. Nothing's changed. 
Speak quickly. Your treacherous tongue is grating. So they want us to pay. 1,763 a turn for 10 turns. We, we lose in that deal. So let's see about... Offering some food on top of that. So even though they're very rich on food, they'll still accept it. And that way we can drop this down by a lot. And that way we actually make a profit out of that deal. There we go. You got 10k a turn coming in. Defection imminent. So, Masu. I have no idea what we could possibly do to make this go... Well, let's just let's have a look. So that's that's this one here, Masu. What is it? How do we how do we do that though? So this is something like I said. I don't know what to do in this situation here. Oh, so he's got, he's got a hundred percent satisfaction in target faction, and we have no tools with which to do anything. We can't change anything. We can't give him a promotion. So what can we do? We can disown him, or we could run interference. I don't know. If, I don't know what else I could do. Alright, let's just move on. If it's going to defect, it's going to defect. I, I don't know what else I can do about it. Like I said, spying with this game just goes way over my head. I just don't do it. Army's coming in to back it up. And we just have to hold that as long as possible, which is not going to be very long. Alright, I'll give it a shot. Let's do it. Because if they capture the settlement, then it's, the battle's not going to be over. There's no, there's no, like, capture the flag. This is not on on extreme unit scale, it's on like large. That's fine, whatever. Uh, huge unit scale. Alright. They still need to get through these towers. I'm curious to see how effective the towers are on large unit scale. I didn't, didn't really test it. Oh, uh, hang on, what am I doing there? Just hold that as long as you can, I guess. Reinforcements are coming. I'll try and get them. I don't think they'll get here in time. Uh, our forces are a little bit diminished as well. So essentially we're going to lose it, and then have to reconquer it. Odds are in our favor. Now if they were smart, they'd actually burn down the towers. Oh fuck, I forgot they don't fire at will.
cavalry will sort them out. Tails have been lost. This is going to get overrun. I just got to wait for my reinforcements to show up. A unit has been completely destroyed. Now, funny thing is, is now they've they've captured the flag, they're not going to bother coming out. Which gives us time to whittle them down, because these towers will not fire at us. We've got crossbows, so we can easily outrange them. How much ammo have they got? Yeah, decent amount. Alright, uh, he's not in great shape, but you're reasonable shape. It says similar, so let's not do that. So yeah, first things first, let's get out there and get rid of their archers with our crossbows, because we can outrange them. Some of their archers have run out of ammunition, so don't bother targeting them. Okay, that's, that's all their archers dealt with. They can't fire at us anymore. Looking for units that don't have a whole lot of missile block chance. Aim for them first. Good, and crossbows melt armored units. Still get blocked by shields. I think they're facing the wrong way. Shoot them. The men have no ammunition. Draw your weapons. Cool, these two are out. They did well enough. I could go around the other side here to fight them, but I think I, I, I can't be stuffed. It looks like we've got this well under control. Peasant band there, they don't have any shield block. Shoot at them. I mean, the saber infantry do, but it's not going to stop us. Just one or two volleys into the. Oh shit, I'm almost out of ammo. The enemy warriors are running! Ha! And they're facing the wrong way again. Bounce power's looking good. Look, the enemy run. Craven. All right, so it looks to me now that they've only got a handful of men and their three generals. So let's send in the infantry and finish the job. I think I prefer to keep the cavalry outside the city, just because. Well, after the little training thing, just because they are a little bit damaged. Some of our guys are damaged as well, actually. Alright, I guess we will go in and fight. Uh, not, not with you, not with you. Our brother is under attack! To the so, so far, so good. The 
the enemy general is fallen, they were no match. Yeah, don't let them get away. Good. So our army's in good shape. I mean, the garrison here got screwed up, but that doesn't matter. And their army got totally wrecked. The AI is not good in this particular situation. Oh wait, that tower is shooting at them, so it's also by extension shooting at us. Just clamping through there. Probably have to run them down anyway. No sense in us taking ex excessive damage because of our own towers. Those who oppose harmony must be crushed. That replenishment will only go to him, so just go with the ransom. Set them loose. They are no threat. Good, so he's now replenishing very slowly though. Yeah, the military supplies isn't helping. If they do take the settlement, just come back over here and retake it. Okay, we're gonna get him because he'll run away and then the other army will get him. Oh. I wasn't expecting that. Leave the bodies as a warning. They cannot help me. For and like China. I said, we can finish the job there, and then you can start moving into their horse pastures, which will help reduce the cost of your cavalry. Clean this up here. And I think that was the last rebellion. So public order should now be sorted. If we have a look at all the settlements. The worst offenders is Dong. Why, what's wrong with Dong? Faction support. So that's eventually going to fix itself up. Because looking at that, that's minus... See, so yeah, both of these towns here were taken fairly recently. I mean, you could just exempt it from taxation as well, and then that's sorted. All provinces, public orders under control, food is under control, money is under control, the wars are far... Oh, right, there's still this rebellion over here, but we'll just send him back. Send him back quickly to go deal with that. Yeah, you'll get back there in a couple of turns. And this is no longer a disaster campaign, so my work here is done. We did have to give away a few settlements, but overall way stronger okay just having more armies doesn't necessarily make you stronger this is plenty in terms of armies okay just the only thing you got to keep in mind as big as you are don't go take on the entire world if you can get it a, a piece sometimes peace is more valuable and look at those trade agreements as well that we got now so that's 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 bringing in an extra six thousand with gold anyway that's the end of this one so like and subscribe and we'll see you next time fuckers